and it's official. Yes, it is official. The Bitcoin ETFs are trading live. We're looking for signs of weakness at this moment. As Essentially, what's happening right now is retail is going to get dumped on, I think. Retail is going to get dumped on. Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisor's channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from Westlake Village, California. It's bright, it's beautiful, and let's get deep into these charts and talk about what's happening right now. And it's official. Yes, it is official. The Bitcoin ETFs are trading live, and CNBC reported tens of millions of shares are being traded in the first 10 minutes, yada, yada, yada. What happened? Buy the rumor, sell the news. Buy the rumor, sell the news. Kind of what happened. We got that spike up towards 49,000 and a rejection real quick. Does that mean the party's over? Not necessarily yet. If you're aggressive, any kind of a daily uh, closure back below 45.6 or even 45.5, I'm sorry, 45,800, short term rally over, next target down, probably this trend line here, right here, coming in at. Uh, <laughs> The green 55 coming in at 42.5. That would be kind of the next. The mid pivot is going to be at 43.5, 43.8. But uh, overall, we're looking for signs of weakness at this moment. As we said from the very beginning, like, look, you know, what happens after the <laughs> macro, uh, you know, lows are put in, well, we're going to make an attempt at the 618 or the 0 0.5. We made it all the way up to the 618 coming in at 49,000. So if you've been following the channel, congratulations. If you made it up here, essentially what's happening right now is retail is going to get dumped on. I think retail is going to get dumped on. They're going to get, which is me. I'm a retailer pretty much. I'm not BlackRock. That's for sure. <clears throat> So we're just looking for signs of weakness, guys, and uh, preparing for the next opportunity in cryptocurrency land. It looks like rotations are happening towards Ethereum right now, and Ethereum's holding long and strong. And here's what I'll say real quick. Just as we approach the March 2022 highs here on Bitcoin, very, very likely, uh, good old Mr. What do we call him? Buterol, Mr. Mr. Buterol. I think we're going to make a run up here to 3,500. Uh, this is the ascending triangle, which is breaking out. Breaking out very nicely. And what happens when an ascending triangle is 75% full and it breaks out and you get a nice little retest. Boom, broke out, retest. That's your target, 35.5 for Mr. Ethereum. And um, that's what I would say. We're probably going to nail those. Uh, well, this is the April 2022 high for Ethereum. It was the March high of Bitcoin. So <clears throat> does that mean the party's over for the end of the year? No. I Or for the rest of the year for Bitcoin? No, I don't think so. Just looking for some short-term rotations into some. It's the chocolate water fountain, guys. Bitcoin first, Ethereum second, and then the water funnel. The water funnel trickles on down. So uh, that's what I would be looking for. And personally, like, no need to be greedy. If you've been long for some time, you know, um, probably going to get that push up to forty-nine, fifty thousand. If it is going to happen, likely to happen in the next week. Um, that's what I would say. And I would not be surprised if they tag the liquidity right here at 40300 and then make a run for it. <clears throat> make a run for 52. Um, that's definitely a scenario I would be looking. Boom. Something like that. Because that is the next uh, major... Liquidity pivot at 52,000. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still recovering from a little bit of the holiday cheer. <clears throat> All right. So 
I think we covered Bitcoin, pivot to watch. We looked at Ethereum. Now on the daily, uh, tomorrow, daily closure in kind of a wick below 25,654. Very likely going to get a retest. 24,567. No reason to rush it, guys. Now, what you can see here is volatility is getting up there. So when's the last time we maxed out <clears throat> and turned red back here in the bear market? So we have not seen a 100% volatile read on Ethereum actually since here. <clears throat> Notice a lot of bearish divergence printing on all the coins. So higher highs, lower highs in the RSI. How would you confirm this as a local high tomorrow? Any kind of a closure? If we close like this and then we close below here tomorrow, top and looking for, you know, a nice little move down, you know, and that would be your buying opportunity right here somewhere in this zone. So if you're feeling FOMO, which you probably already are, everybody is, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm telling you, I am feeling it. If you're feeling FOMO on Bitcoin and Ethereum, <clears throat> look other places. There's other opportunities out there. We'll go over a couple of those right now. One of them top of mind, top of mind right now. GRT. I think GRT uh, was looking at bright and early this morning. I was riding my bike on the trainer, getting on the trainer, watching the markets early. But look, <clears throat> Bouncing off the green 55, volatility exploding. About to cross up today above 1750. Today, closing here, anywhere higher. Volatility is, you know, still increasing. So you got the bounce on the decline, and now we just want to see volatility continue onwards and upwards. Okay, another one, one inch. I just turned $140 into $1,300 over the last two weeks. Yes, it's possible in the land of cryptocurrency. My name is Chris Mitchell. I am the CEO of Crypt Courses, and I'm bringing you this video because I'm gonna give you some really good information on how to buy, sell, and trade digital currency. Now, you've probably heard about a lot of people making a lot of money in crypto but you don't feel safe or intelligent enough to make the investment. That's why I created Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis. It's the crypto trader's dream to starting your crypto journey. It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description below and we will get you your free guide today. One inch. One inch uh, is about to break out, about to break out. If we take out that, we already took out that wick. So I, I'm, I'm, that's what you want to see off of GRT. See how this one bounced off that green 55. We're taking out the range highs and next target up 59 cents, 59 cents. In fact, if we do a little fib retracement. Yeah, that's that uh, 2618 fib. And that's coming right in line with some resistance right there. Now, above here, above 60 cents, that thing's gonna send. It's gonna send. It's going to ascend to the heavens. That's a bullish, that's a bullish stance right there, I would say. One inch. Top of mind, so two little plays right there. Willie Beamer, uh, Manta, or MNT, Mantle. Uh, another one, <clears throat> which is already kind of played out, but noticed uh, the nine governing neutron all the way to the upside here. Now, any kind of a closure back below 130, probably a big move down, uh, about a buck. So, um, you know, be careful buying into buying buying into all time highs. XLR, another one, very low volume, still pretty high. Um, I would like to see it come down more so I can get some more. XLR, how's our Tia, Tia coin doing? Frankly, uh, still looks bullish. And Benki, I like this one. 
bouncing off this uh, green 55 again, breaking the day that that daily downtrend on the uh, well, we haven't taken out the wicks yet. So still got to get above that not 0.5. Next target would be not 0.246. And is anybody going bonkers? I, I'm, I'm beginning to wane on my belief of bonk here today as the <clears throat> party seems to be over slightly. Um, who else is looking tasty here? Link's still in a bit of co consolidation, but notice as soon as we dipped into the box of peace and prosperity and death and despair between the 0.5 and the 618, we got a big, huge bounce. I still think this one long term Probably going to approach those uh, April highs as well, which it pretty much already did. So above this level, if we can take out that wick at 1778, I think they're going to have a big move up. It's probably about 30 bucks. How's our Sia, Sia, Sia coin? Say, is it Say or Sia? I, I hear everybody calling it different names. Um, how about ICP? Bullish consolidation here. Kind of a bit of a cup formation and if you are bullish on this one you want to see this one close above 1292 today if we can close above 1292 today we will flip the momentum to the upside right at the midway point um, that would look good and i guess the last one i'll do is injective as injective bullish bullish consolidation looks like a a giant cup i uh, i don't know what that looks like exactly but i think that's it out of me for today guys that's that's about it um nothing too fancy on the board here today just trudging the road to happy destiny for bitcoin onwards and upwards short-term pullbacks are fine um I hope you have a blessed and highly favored rest of your day, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care.